As your pregnancy progresses, your body begins preparing for the incredible journey of childbirth. This is a time of significant change and anticipation, filled with both excitement and a bit of uncertainty. Knowing the early signs of labor can help you feel more prepared and confident as you approach this special time. Educating yourself and staying informed can make a big difference in how you experience these final weeks. One of the first signs might be the baby dropping lower into your pelvis, a process called lightening. This can make breathing easier but may also increase pressure on your bladder. This can happen a few weeks or even just a few hours before labor begins. It's a clear indication that your body is getting ready for the big day. You might also notice an increase in vaginal discharge which may be clear, pink or slightly bloody. This is known as the bloody show and is a sign that your cervix is beginning to dilate. This is perfectly normal and simply means your cervix is preparing for labor. It's important to stay calm and keep in touch with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. Some women experience mild contractions, known as Braxton Hicks contractions, in the weeks leading up to labor. These contractions are irregular and usually not painful, but they can be uncomfortable. These contractions are your body's way of practicing and preparing for the real event. Engaging in light exercises and practicing breathing techniques can help manage any discomfort. As you approach your due date, pay attention to these early signs and remember that every pregnancy and labor experience is unique. Keeping a journal of your symptoms can also be helpful. Trust your body, listen to its cues, and communicate openly with your healthcare provider and birth partner. Together, you've got this. Embrace this journey with confidence and know that you are well prepared for the arrival of your little one. The first stage of labor marks the beginning of your birthing journey, a transformative experience that unfolds in stages. It's divided into three phases, early labor, active labor, and transition. Each phase brings you closer to the moment you meet your baby. Early labor is often the longest phase characterized by mild, irregular contractions that gradually become more frequent and intense. This phase can last for hours or even days. These contractions might feel like menstrual cramps or a tightening sensation in your lower abdomen. You might also experience some backache. During early labor, it's important to stay relaxed and focus on conserving your energy for the journey ahead. Deep breathing and resting can be very helpful. Try to distract yourself with activities you enjoy, such as watching a movie, taking a warm bath, or spending time with loved ones. These activities can help keep your mind off the contractions. Staying hydrated and nourished is also essential, so drink plenty of fluids and eat light, easily digestible snacks. This will help maintain your energy levels. As your contractions become more regular and intense, you'll transition into active labor. This is a sign that your body is progressing well. This is when things start to feel more real, and you'll need to shift your focus towards coping with the increasing intensity of your contractions. Breathing techniques and support from your partner can be invaluable. Remember, your body is designed to birth, and with every surge, you're one step closer to meeting your baby. Trust in the process and in your strength. Active labor is characterized by stronger, more regular contractions that occur every three to five minutes. These contractions are a sign that your body is working hard to bring your baby into the world. They typically last for about 60 seconds, giving you a brief moment to catch your breath before the next wave begins. This is the time to embrace your strength and focus on riding the waves of your contractions. Each contraction brings you one step closer to meeting your baby. You may find it helpful to use a variety of coping mechanisms, such as deep breathing, visualization, massage, or movement. These techniques can help you manage the intensity of your contractions and stay centered. Your birth partner can play a crucial role in supporting you during this phase, offering encouragement, physical comfort, and a calming presence. Their support can make a significant difference in your labor experience. Communicate your needs openly with your birth team, and don't hesitate to ask for pain relief options if you desire them. Your comfort and well-being are paramount. Remember there's no right or wrong way to labor, as long as you're feeling safe, supported and empowered. Trust in your instincts and the support around you. As you progress through active labor, your cervix will continue to dilate, eventually reaching 10 centimeters, which is considered fully dilated. This is a significant milestone in your labor journey. This process can take several hours, and it's important to remember that every labor is unique and progresses at its own pace. Patience and perseverance are key. Trust your body, listen to its cues, and surrender to the rhythm of your labor. Embrace each moment, knowing that you are strong and capable. 
Transition is the final phase of the first stage of labor, often described as the most intense but also the shortest, typically lasting between 30 minutes to 2 hours. During transition, contractions are at their peak intensity, occurring every 2 to 3 minutes and lasting for 60 to 90 seconds. You might feel a surge of adrenaline, accompanied by feelings of pressure, nausea, or even vomiting. While transition can feel overwhelming, it's important to remember that it's a sign that your body is working hard to prepare for the birth of your baby. Your cervix is making its final stretches, and your baby is descending further into the birth canal. This is a time to dig deep, find your inner strength and trust in your body's incredible ability to birth. Your birth team will be there to support you every step of the way, offering encouragement, guidance and pain relief options if needed. Remember, you're almost there. The next stage brings the immense joy of meeting your baby. Section 5, Second Stage, Welcoming Your Baby. The second stage of labor begins when your cervix is fully dilated, which means 10 centimeters, and ends with the birth of your baby. This is the pushing stage, where you'll actively participate in bringing your baby into the world. As your baby descends further into the birth canal, you'll feel a strong urge to push, guided by your body's natural instincts. Your birth team will provide encouragement and guidance on when and how to push effectively. You may find various positions helpful during pushing such as squatting, kneeling, or lying on your side. Listen to your body, trust your instincts, and work with your contractions to guide your baby down the birth canal. The second stage can last from a few minutes to several hours, and it's important to stay patient and focused on your baby's arrival. With each push, you're one step closer to meeting your little one. Remember, you're strong, capable, and doing an amazing job. After the incredible moment of your baby's birth, you'll enter the third and final stage of labor, which involves the delivery of the placenta. The placenta, the organ that nourished your baby throughout your pregnancy, will detach from the uterine wall and be expelled through the vagina. You'll likely feel mild contractions as your uterus continues to contract, helping to expel the placenta. Your birth attendant will guide you through this process, ensuring a safe and complete delivery of the placenta. Once the placenta is delivered, your uterus will continue to contract, shrinking back to its normal size. The third stage of labor is typically the shortest, lasting between 5 to 30 minutes. While you'll be caught up in the joy of meeting your newborn, it's essential to remember that your body is still working hard. Your birth team will monitor your bleeding and ensure a smooth transition into the postpartum period. Labor is an intense experience, both physically and emotionally. It's natural to feel a mix of emotions, from excitement to anxiety to fear. Managing pain and anxiety is crucial for a positive birth experience. Fortunately, various techniques and pain relief options are available to help you cope with labor's challenges. Deep breathing techniques, relaxation exercises, visualization, and massage can effectively manage pain and anxiety during labor. These non-pharmacological methods can help you stay calm, focused, and in control of your body. Your birth partner can play a vital role in supporting you with these techniques, offering encouragement, touch, and a reassuring presence. If you desire additional pain relief, several options are available including epidurals, nitrous oxide, and pain-relieving medications. Discuss these options with your healthcare provider during your prenatal appointments to determine the best pain management plan for your individual needs and preferences. Congratulations on welcoming your little one into the world. The postpartum period, also known as the fourth trimester, is a time of significant physical and emotional adjustments as you recover from birth and transition into parenthood. It's important to be patient with yourself and your body as it heals and adapts to this new chapter. Rest is crucial during the postpartum period as your body needs time to rebuild its energy reserves. Accept help from your partner, family and friends with household chores, errands, and baby care, allowing you to focus on resting and bonding with your newborn. You'll experience vaginal bleeding and discharge, known as lochia, for several weeks after birth, as your uterus continues to shrink back to its normal size. Use sanitary pads for comfort and hygiene, and avoid using tampons during this time. Maintain a healthy diet and drink plenty of fluids to support your body's healing process. 
Childbirth is an extraordinary journey filled with a mix of emotions, sensations, and transformations. Remember to trust your body's innate ability to birth, believe in your strength, and embrace the support of your birth team and loved ones. By understanding the stages of labor, preparing yourself mentally and physically, and utilizing available resources, you can approach this transformative experience with confidence, courage, and the joy of welcoming a new life into the world.